July 28th. And we really have something I think is pretty unique. So I have read recently in some of the debate that's going on as to what is a north-south jet stream, right? Because technically they, they're not supposed to exist. So taking that premise, what we can see happening here, and again, we can see why um, scientists such as Dr. Beckwith were concerned, because as I see this, air is nothing more than water and its flow. That's really, to me, isn't that going south? Looks like it's going south. In fact, it looks like it actually splits and goes off to the south to the left and then off to the south to the right. Interesting, isn't it? And as we look at our world today, not only do we see this that has formed, let's continue just to take our world view. Um, am I seeing this right as well, or is this more, would you say, no, I would say that uh, it's clearly an air pattern coming down, getting caught up. Yeah, that makes uh, complete perfect sense. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. We've watched this one now for a couple of weeks, forming right off the coast, uh, east coast here, and it just seems to continue to deepen. These are pressure zones, a low pressure counterclockwise, high pressure clockwise. So it kind of gives you an idea of the nature of these. And it just, are y'all seeing this as well? Now we've documented the wind speeds are definitely increasing in here. Let's go over Africa. I mean, folks, we've seen this. Um, I don't know. At what point does this just become um, this type of speed? I think this is a lot of what we're seeing in the reports. I read just yesterday in India, <clears throat> 1.2 million people displaced because of unprecedented flooding. China, uh, of course, they're much more uh, restrictive in their reporting, but reports are coming out of similar catastrophes, tornadoes, violent weather in Africa, snow in regions. Uh, in this region, by the way, this same region right up in here, in fact, I believe, and I'll pull this up, is where they got snow. They were got snow for the first time in this area in Africa. Um, so yeah, I think we are seeing the effects. Now, is this geoengineering? I don't know. Uh, a lot of controversy about HARP, what HARP does. I'd like to thank all of you who send in to some of the best, uh, references, suggestions. Um, I'm learning probably more from what all of you are contributing, and I hope that all of us are learning together. So... When we talk about HARP, there is apparently a technology called SBX. It works in the ionosphere, and it basically is ionospheric heaters. Um, it has been talked about that this has been a result of increased temperatures in the Pacific and the North Pole. Um, as a result, we have seen this on the heat maps as well. And we'll actually see if we can take a look at that. So are we seeing something here that is, in fact, of a technology? I don't know. Are we seeing this as a result that the Earth is out of balance, that the tilt has gotten to the point now where the Earth is trying to right itself? Um, is that what we're seeing? Are we seeing the influences of something greater in our solar system? 
Uh, is it the same phenomenon that has uh, impacted Pluto, that has impacted Neptune, that has impacted Uranus, that has impacted Jupiter, Saturn? Is the Earth responding to something else? Is this may maybe just a cycle uh, in how the Earth, you know, balance itself out? I don't know. I think these are all questions that deserve uh, a serious look on each one of them, but we can clearly see this. Uh, this cannot be a normal, uh, I think someone told me that someone said it was a normal monsonal flow. Okay, I'm not buying it. Uh, next, so let's just finish out our trip around the world. I hope I'm giving you all a first class ticket. Uh, coffee and drinks will be served later. And then here we are again. So I think the evidence is very clear and we'll continue to do this. I think that this has now become a uh, puzzle for me. I want to know what the answer is. I want to know why. I want to know what's causing this. I want to know, is this seriously going to impact my life, my family's life, my community's life? Uh, these are the things that I think about because, you know, we, we can't no longer deny it that our planet is going through some changes. And I think it's all interconnected. I think it connects with the uh, magnetic poles. Uh, by the way, let's just take a look at what happened up here at the North Pole so we can get an idea. Um, so you actually have a branch of the jet stream going right across the North Pole. Now, is that normal? I don't know. Uh, I think it's kind of odd. Um, are we seeing something that uh, is impacting both the poles? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we'll continue to find out this um, mystery as we continue to go along. All right. Have a good day.